In this tutorial, we're going to look at Photoshop and we're going to learn how to make some chrome effect 3D text, a bit like this really. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start a new Photoshop document and we're going to work roughly 400 by 300, that's fine, click OK. And the first thing we want to do is to turn our background black. So if I select my colour down here and I choose a black, click OK. Then I need to pick my paint bucket tool up. If you can't see that, it might be hidden behind this gradient tool. So you just need to click and hold that icon so you can select paint bucket. And I'm just going to turn that black. Now I'm going to go over and use my text tool. And we're going to use font times new Roman. So drop your menu down and find that. Um, let's make it regular um, and strong and the font size is about 130. If you can't see it in the menu, you can just type it in there like that. Finally, we're going to pick a color for our font. So I'm going to have quite a light gray. So click that color selector and then you can just choose the color. There we go. And click on your background. Mine's already flashing up there because I clicked before and just type in 3D text. You won't be able to see that because it's the same colour as the surrounding. And if you've done what I've done and you need to move it, click on your move tool. You can grab it and pull it down like that. There we go. So there's my 3D text layer, which it created when I chose the text tool. Um, the first thing we want to, well, want to do with the text is to rasterize it. So we're going to go to select the 3D text layer, go to layer and choose rasterize and type. There we go. Um, and next we want to make it look a bit 3D. So we go to edit and choose transform and we want perspective. And when you do that, these little handles pop up around your text. So I'm going to drag the corners in here to make that a bit smaller. And at this end, I'm going to make it a bit bigger. So we're starting to make it look a bit 3D. When you're happy with your selection, you just press enter. There we are. So I've rasterized and I've used edit transform to get perspective. Now it's time to start making it look a little 3D. So I select my layer again and I hold down the alt key on my keyboard, which is just next to your spacebar, and I press the left arrow key. And that, if you look, duplicates that layer and moves it slightly to the left. I'm going to do that another 14 times, so I've got 15 copies. And you'll see, as I do it each time, the image starts to look a bit more 3D, like so. Now what we're going to do is we are going to select, if I click on this top layer to select it, Scroll down till I get to the 3D text copy, the first copy, not the original. Hold down my shift key and click. That selects all those layers. Now I need to right click and merge them like so, which makes all of those 15 copies into one big one. Then select your original layer and just drag it so it sits up on top of the others. Now it's time to give this image a bit of depth. So we'll select my, all my copy layers and I will right click and I'll go to blending options and I'm looking for gradient overlay. So I'll select that and you see when I selected that instantly it started to give that those copied layers a bit of a gradient. I'll just deselect it so you can see the difference again. You see what happened there. So I'm happy with that as my background so click OK and now what I'm going to do is go to the top layer and we're going to give it a chrome effect so again right click and choose blending options and this time you want bevel and emboss so select that did you see what happened there let's deselect it and you can see what's happening and down here where it says gloss contour we're going to use this one so select that and you start to get a bit of a chrome effect. If you tick the anti-alias box, that will just smooth it out a little bit. It's only subtle, but if you look, 
especially say here, you can see it being smoothed out a bit. And now we get to play with the depth, the size and the soften. So as you move your depth slider up and down, you can see the difference there. Um, I like to leave it around about 100%. If you can't get exactly what you're looking for, you can always just type it in. Size wise, again, you see the difference that increasing the size makes. It starts to look slightly less 3D as you go further up. I quite like that there for a chrome effect, somewhere around about 10. And soften again. It softens out the edges between your glows. So your light and dark areas. So there we go. When you're happy, click OK. And that is your 3D chrome text. Now go and have a go.